welcome back to the channel guys today we have here a Porsche 996 with the uh, remote uh, control issue uh, this remote needs to be programmed to the car in order to do that in a Porsche um, we need to uh, program it uh, via diagnostic equipment so first off I've disconnected uh, the battery uh, because this is a process uh, that we need to do first be uh, before programming via OBD. Uh, remove the driver's seat uh, and underneath you'll find the alarm control module. This uh, immobilizes the car and uh, triggers the alarm. Also, it's the uh, central locking uh, controller. So uh, we have to program this EEPROM here. Uh, before uh, before we program it, we need to read the pin code from there, also the codes to program the um, the remotes. Um, so uh, let's um, remove it and put it to the um, to the adapter on my Xprog, and uh, let's uh, read it. So this EEPROM is a um, 93LC66, uh, so I'm going to be reading it in uh, two different ways, uh, one with 8-bit and uh, another one with 16-bit, and um, see which one it is, and also I will compare both of them to see if there is any difference, but I believe this one is a 16-bit uh, EEPROM, so... Um, Let's uh, just uh, read it. As you can see here, this is a um, 93C66 that I uh, chosen, right, right there. Now let's just hit read. So once we have the dump uh, from the 93LC66, uh, we are going to save it in our computer because there is uh, two more steps we need to do to in order to get the pin codes and also in order to transform this EEPROM or program this EEPROM in order to be able to um, uh, get commands uh, via OBD. Okay, so uh, now that I have the uh, dumps saved, I'm going to be, use, be using a, a British and uh, I'm going to choose uh, Porsche from the menu here. Here we go. Now I have to identify the car, which is a 996. It ranges from 98 to 2005, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I can see here which uh, which one it is it is um the uh, 911 996 98 2005 okay that's it now i'm going to special function dump tool and then here 
we choose um, enable alarm module access by OBD2. So now we load the, the original dump from the car, which is this one. Open, okay. Now, first, uh, we need to uh, swap the bytes in order to read the codes. So if we save it just as it is, it will uh, edit the dump automatically to access it via OBD. But that's not what we want right now. Right now, we want to see the pin code and also the remote programming code. So the pin code will be uh, located down here. It's going to be repeated twice. But as it is, you cannot see it because you need to swap the bytes. So as soon as, as soon as we swap the bytes, let's go there to that address again. You can see, uh, you can see here it shows 18D887, 18D887, and then it will repeat right there, 18D887. That's the pin code to program keys, program remotes. Uh, well, that's the um, key to enter the alarm module. Let's put it like that. So uh, it's a three byte uh, code uh, in X. And um, this code allows you to, um, to, to open the door, uh, if you will, uh, to the um, to the programming part of the uh, alarm module. Now, up top here at the address uh, zero one hundred, you'll find the pin the code for the remotes. This is a twelve byte code or a, a twenty four uh, letter code. Uh, that it's uh, exclusive to each remote. So in this car, I only have one remote programmed. As you can see here, I have uh, these uh, 40, 13, A9, 89, D1, 4C, 20, uh, 2D actually, BF, 06, B7, C5. So these are the 12 bytes that I'm going to need to program the, um, the remote that is uh, programmed um in this uh, alarm system uh, well this is a, a bit more complicated than your regular uh, car uh, to resynchronize the uh, remotes but um for a Porsche it's not that uh, complicated actually Now we need to swap the bytes back to the original format and um, then just um, hit the save button up, up there. It will uh, edit the dump in order to allow you to, um, to access via OBD. Uh, as you can see here, I've already swapped the bytes back. So now I'm going to hit save and uh, I will compare the two, the two dumps, the, the original one and the one not uh, swapped, but uh, edit, edited by Abritis. And uh, let's see how it does. So 
I've sent it to this computer. And now let's open and um, see how it looks. So as you can see here, those red lines there are the differences between the original one, the top one, and the bottom one, which is the edited one. So you can edit it, edit it this um, manually, but uh, I would use a British because, well, for two reasons. One of them is because I have it, and um, the second reason is that I don't remember uh, ever saving this information anywhere. So um, you can edit this manually and you still uh, be able to access um, the alarm module via, via OBD. So um, from now on, guys, you just have to write the edited uh, dump back into the, um, into the, the EEPROM. And uh, after that, uh, your car will be, will be accessible via OBD. Also, uh, you already have the pin code, so uh, you'll be able to program keys and remotes uh, via OBD as well. The last thing to do is just to go back to the car, close the, um, the module, of course, go back to the car, and um, let it, let's put it back. As you can see, you have um, F a, turn, a quarter of a turn uh, locking mechanism here. Uh, you unlock it, you pull it up, and slide it forward because there's this tiny clip on the back here. As you can see there, it will fit in that little hole there. And um, you just uh, set it down and twist that uh, quarter turn locking mechanism and that's it. Okay guys, so this is uh, another video. Hopefully you enjoy it, hopefully you help someone. If you enjoy these type of videos, please don't, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks for watching.